Number 10, Horror Frog. While most frogs are known for being able to regenerate, the horror frog is arguably in a league of its own. This creature, also known as the wolverine frog, has some truly outstanding adaptations. Much like its namesake, Marvel Mutant, this creature has claws that project through the skin. The claws are made out of bone, unlike true claws, which are made out of keratin. Each claw is sheathed and anchored, with strands of collagen to a small bony nodule found in the tissue beyond the frog's fingertips. Whenever threatened or attacked, the frog will intentionally break the nodule, propelling its sharp bones through the skin. British naturalist Gerald Durrell reportedly experienced the defensive behavior firsthand when he tried grabbing one of the creatures. The retraction mechanism for the claws isn't known, but the working theory is that they retract passively over time and that the damaged tissue regenerates. Number 9. Shark Sharks have remarkable regenerative abilities to go with their reputation as fearsome predators. Their teeth are constantly regrown and that's mainly because they're developed within a bony cavity and not actually attached to a bone. It's believed that a shark will lose up to 40,000 teeth throughout its lifetime. Leopard sharks, for example, constantly replace their teeth every 9 to 12 days. While redoubtable weapons, teeth are not the only important body parts that sharks can repair. Some species can regenerate skin and scales after they've taken damage. Within a few days, mucus will start seeping into the wound, thus initiating the healing process. One study revealed an outstanding example of organ regeneration. A shark had had two-thirds of its liver removed and it took less than 24 hours for more than half of the organ to increase in volume. Number 8. Lizard some lizard species will take some truly drastic steps in order to avoid predation. When caught by a predator, the lizard will shed part of its tail in order to escape. The process is called autotomy, but is commonly referred to as self-amputation. The detached tail will often continue to wriggle, maintaining the idea of continuous struggle and giving the lizard enough time to scurry away. Over the course of a few months, the lizard will regrow its tail. The new appendage will generally be shorter, different in color or texture, composed of cartilage rather than bone. Scientists from Arizona State University who have studied lizard regeneration claim these creatures share the same toolbox of genes as humans. They've successfully identified the genes responsible for regeneration, a breakthrough that may one day enable the regrowth of human muscle, cartilage, or even spinal cord. Number 7. Starfish Starfish are marine invertebrates that have a central disc and five or more limbs attached to it. They're opportunistic feeders that mainly prey on the invertebrates found in the benthic zone, the region at the lowest level in any body of water. Some starfish are counted among the world's worst invasive species, while others can bring about great natural destruction. The crown of thorn starfish, for example, is a ferocious consumer of coral and has caused significant damage to the Great Barrier Reef. Most starfish can regenerate lost arms and regrow new ones over time. In the early stages of limb loss, however, these creatures are vulnerable to infection. Starfish can even regrow a completely new disc from a separated limb, although some species do require at least part of the former disc to still be attached to the arm. The limb will live off stored nutrients until a new disc and mouth are regrown so that it can resume feeding. The division of the body doesn't only occur as a means of reproduction, as the starfish may also actively shed a body part in response to a predatory attack. Number 6. Axolotl The axolotl genome, published in 2018, is 10 times larger than the human genome. An examination of it revealed specific genetic pathways, likely responsible for its outstanding regenerative ability. It's the main reason that this rare salamander is used by scientists as a model organism. Axolotls can regenerate entire lost appendages within months, including the tail and limbs or tissues of the heart and eyes. They've even been observed regenerating some less vital parts of their brains. They'll readily accept any transplants within their species and restore organs to full working order. Their regenerative powers are so great that, in some cases, they'll grow an extra limb while repairing a damaged one, ending up with an extra appendage. Number 5. Sea Cucumbers Like starfish, Sea cucumbers are also echinoderms. The differences are that they don't have a calcium exoskeleton and their capacity for regeneration is greater than that of others in their phylum. Since they're largely sedentary, they developed alternative means of deterring predators. 
that don't involve much movement. In a process called evisceration, sea cucumbers will actually jettison their organs to scare off predators. Evisceration for some cucumber species may also be accompanied by the release of a toxin called holothurin. Its chemical properties are similar to those of soap, and it may kill other animals in the sea cucumber's proximity. The marine creature is capable of regenerating its expelled viscera within weeks. The secret is proprietary genes, which aren't found in other echinoderms and that are highly expressed during regeneration. Number 4. Mexican Tetra Scientists working with Mexican tetrafish variations might hold the key to the future regeneration of the human heart. From an evolutionary perspective, the fish variations are fascinating. About one and a half million years ago, floodwaters washed tetrafish from the rivers of northern Mexico into caves. They evolved and adapted to living in complete darkness. Nowadays, the cave-dwelling tetra variation has no eyes or pigment. The tetrafish living in the river still have those features, as well as the added ability of regenerating their heart tissue. A 2018 study funded by the British Heart Foundation looked at both tetra species, hoping to better understand heart regeneration. They discovered two genes, cavalin and LRRC10, that were more active in the river tetrafish following an injury to the heart. Both genes are present in humans and LRRC10 is actually associated with a heart condition called dilated cardiomyopathy. Based on the finding, the researchers believe that it would eventually be possible to restore damaged heart muscles by artificially modifying how the isolated genes and others function. Number 3. Planarian Worms The planarian is a flatworm that has earned the reputation of being immortal under the edge of a knife. These creatures possess incredibly potent stems called neoblasts. They have the ability to create all the necessary cell types if a piece of the planarian is severed. As such, a complete new organism will form from as little as 1 279th of the planarian has been removed from. Interestingly enough, the piece doesn't have to be completely severed in order for regeneration to commence. If the head of the planarian is cut in half but each part is still attached to the body, the creature might regenerate and keep on living with two heads. Neoblasts are truly remarkable, totipotent engines of life. Recent work has revealed that a single neoblast can restore an entire animal that has been exposed to radiation and rendered incapable of regeneration. Number 2. Hydra Much like the mythological creature that inspired its name, this small, freshwater creature has the ability of limitless regeneration. The hydra, whenever injured or severed, will will simply bud off a clone of itself. The hydrozoan stem cells have a capacity for indefinite self-renewal. This would make the hydra, as first argued by Daniel Martinez in 1998, biologically immortal. It seems that the driving factor behind the hydra's limitless renewal is a protein called forkhead box O or FOXO. Current research supports Martinez's claims, but while scientists are optimistic about the implications for human aging, this still has a long way to go. Aside from its remarkable regenerative ability, the Hydra also has a rather complex hunting mechanism for what's essentially a simple nervous system. Its mouth part is surrounded by 1 to 12 thin tentacles. The tentacles are covered in cnidocytes, explosive cells that release microscopic neurotoxin-laced harpoons into their prey. The Hydra will thus stretch its tentacles out and wrap them around aquatic invertebrates, which comprise the bulk of its diet. Number 1. Lobster Lobster regeneration is so advanced that they're theoretically immortal. To understand how that's possible, it's worth examining cellular aging in humans. Each strand of DNA has a cap at the end called a telomere, which protects the chromosome. During cell division, the telomeres get progressively shorter until they're worn out and can no longer do their job properly. Cells have thus reached their hayflick limit, the total number of times that they can divide before division stops. This is how cellular aging takes place, which is connected to the overall physical aging of an organism. Telomerase is an enzyme that regenerates the protective caps so that division can occur indefinitely. It's present in most creatures as an embryo develops but is usually absent from adult stages of life. Lobsters, however, express telomerase throughout their tissues into adulthood. They exhibit no loss of appetite, fertility, energy or metabolism as they get older. Size is suspected as being the main factor preventing the lobster from achieving true immortality. The lobster's exoskeleton is hard and inflexible, and the creature must shed it in order to grow. 
Lobsters expend a lot of energy during molting and for older lobsters, the process ceases entirely. As such, the exoskeleton either becomes deteriorated or collapses, killing them. Thanks for watching. If you could have one superpower, would it be flight or health regeneration? Let us know in the comments section below.